In this video, we'll talk about the different kinds of modeling you can do in Fusion. Solid, surface, mesh, form, and parametric and direct. Let's start with solid. We're in the solid workspace. Click on create, box, let's make a box. And this is a solid box, meaning it is solid all the way through like a rock. If I try to delete a face, I can't. With solid modeling, you can model parametrically or directly. Let's talk about what that means. Parametric applies to sketches. So let's make a sketch. and hit enter to finish. Right click on a line and click on sketch dimension. I can type any dimension I want and it will apply just to that line. And this is what makes a parametric model parametric. It's the sketch and the ability to change lines independently of each other. With parametric, there's also a timeline. That is, all my movements are captured on it. And I can go back to the sketch any time and change its dimensions and all the actions upstream will change around them. With direct modeling, I turn off the timeline and I can no longer edit sketches and have them reflected upstream. See that? Parametric modeling is a bit more difficult than direct, but you have the ability to edit sketches and have all your movements upstream accommodate them. Direct modeling is easier and more intuitive, but you lose the ability to have all your actions upstream change with changes to the sketch. And I can go back and turn the timeline back on and going forward everything will be parametric again. Then there is surface modeling. Let's make a sketch. Press pull it up. And it's hollow. As you can see, when I select, right click, delete, and there it is. You can shift between the solid and the surface workspaces to take advantage of both of their unique capabilities. Now let's look at the form workspace. This is what a box in form looks like. 
it is also hollow. This is how you make organic looking forms. Finally, there's the mesh workspace. This is where you can do some work on an imported STL. And you can do some editing. And there you have the different kinds of modeling you can do in Fusion 360.